Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody's doing good. We're going to take a look at some Boker Barlows under my Hellraiser Hank. I haven't bought that, brought that out in a while. But before we do that, say hi to Rodney. Hi Rodney. And let's take a look at the blast from the past. This is of Kissing Crane fame. Robbie Klaus. Am I pronouncing that right, or is it class? Um, beautiful stag. You'll see he kind of, I guess, um, someone told me that this was actually a tribute to the John Russell Barlows. As you'll see, it's a K instead of the R. Beautiful stag covers right down the middle. Um... It's a single spear point blade, handmade by Klaus, Klaus, Solingen, one of a hundred. Robbie Klaus, Solingen, Germany. And nothing there. There's your blast from the past. Really nice Barlow, no matter which hand you put it in. All right, let's get to some other German Barlows. So far we looked at some Sheffield Barlows, some American Barlows, and now it's time for the German Barlows. The Boker Barlows, specifically. So, let's take a quick look up top here. Top row is more of your modern Boker Barlows. And the second row here is some vintage Boker Barlows. And now these two at the end, these are... Russell Green River works, but not from the original Russell um, manufacturing building. These are made by Boker, who has the name for the Russell brand now. Or they did. I don't know if they still have it. As you'll see, it has the R, the Russell... Russell Green River Works. And there's your Tang stamp for that one. This one here, the, the stamp on the bolster is really weak. So Boker kind of messed that up a little bit. It's rougher, Russell Green River Works. Solingen, Germany. But you could tell those were made by Boker. <clears throat> the bolsters are very similar as, um, as is the frame. And one way to check out to see if a frame's being used over and over is the placement of the pins. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you look at the newest one, it's only two pins. So the frame changed a little. I think that may be because it's an integral. Again, I can never pronounce that. But since it's one solid piece and there's no... Um, separate liners, it's just one piece of copper. As you'll see, you won't see. I'm trying to hold this straight here and get it to focus in. Let's move it over here. You'll see it's all one piece. All copper. Desert ironwood. So we'll take a good look at that. 
Let's go first through start way at the end over here. And I'm not sure what year. Bulker's hard to um, date because they've used the same tang stamp since like 1960 to present. Well, this one doesn't have it. As you'll see, this is the 492. It's the spear point. And there's your Boker tree. Saw cut bone. It's real bone. Some of these are in Delrin. This one's bone. It's two blade. Two blade spear point. Next up is also a four ninety two spear point, slightly different. As you look at the trees, a little different. But it's kind of the same stamp on there. So I'm not sure what year it is. As you'll see the frame, it's the same two pins in that area there. This is also bone. But this one here was kind of my 492 placeholder. 492. You can see it's almost a worn cliff now because it's been sharpened so much. So there's quite a bit of difference there. But I kind of like the colors of the handles. So the placeholder is just a different version probably made in a different year these Boker US like I said the Boker USA are really hard to date um, next one up check out this cover it's a Boker tree brand this is the 493 I believe once again saw cut bone and this has got some really weird patchy stuff going on but it's cool. And that's all that matters. <clears throat> and yes, this is the 493. Um, probably about 80% of the steel left on the blade. Half stops. And your little... Um, pen blade next one up is the Boker USA 495 now this one don't tell Zen Ali but this may have his name on it if something happens to me um 495 it's the Boker cloud and these were only made from um, what was it 1953 to 1955 two years and apparently Boker USA you see it says made in the USA Boker and this is called the cloud stamp and rumor has it that Boker USA went to this after, um, yeah, I wonder if it was 43 or 45, no, 53 to 55, it was after World War II, um, Boker USA tried to distance itself from Boker Germany with the whole Germany thing, but the people wanted the tree, wanted the chestnut tree, so the chestnut tree came back. But yeah, this is the only model you'll find 
the Boker Cloud. There's also a version of this that has the razor um, blade to it. This has the spear point. And I picked this up for like $55. And the razor, the one with the razor, um, razor style blade. Me and Zen Ali were watching it and because I was going to make a bid on it. Um, and I bid like 180 and someone else knew exactly what it was and built the um, outbid me. Probably bid over 200 for it. <clears throat> but that just tells you how rare these are. This one probably... If I put it on auction and someone really knows what they're looking at, would probably go for, a, you know, a strong 180. All right. The red bone, washboard bone, Boker, Barlow, made in Germany. <clears throat> This one's vintage, but not too old. And you'll see it's, this is the one that has the real common stamp. I think it's like from 1960 to present. But you can also date them. I have to dig out my Boker book, but you can also date them by the tree. Which style of chestnut tree they use for each model. As you'll see, there's three different trees here. Oops. Three different chestnut trees. So, as we move on, I'll show you some more of the washboard. And this is also a two-blade Barlow, made in Germany, of course. Okay, now, the farm boy, the big beefy Barlow, in walnut, serialized. Nice cool etch, if I can get it. There we go. This was made in 1983, and I can tell that because it says 1983 right there. This was actually made by Boker Germany for Boker USA um, when Boker USA was under Cooper. And the Cooper now is um, the one that bought all the Shat and Morgan. Gilbert Cooper, I think his name is. Bought all the Shat and Morgan equipment. And he's building the uh, Weed and Company Barlows. But yeah, that's who was involved in the manufacturing of this big beefy boy. So well, that's a cool Barlow there. And then, like I said, these two are under the John Russell name. Oops. Man, got the shakes and I'm dropping everything. But they're both, you can see the similarity to the Boker Barlow on the frame. Um... Pins are in the exact same spot. Bolsters are almost identical. But a very beautiful piece of stag used for this one. This has got some red bone, which is pretty cool. So let's go to the new modern ones. 
This one here is curly green maple, I believe. Um, let's see if we can get a little more light on the subject here. And these newer ones are all single blade Barlows. No stamp on the bolster, which is cool. Does have the little badge, but that doesn't bother me anymore. Beautiful unused condition. Un never carried, never used. German 440C stainless. 440C stainless. So you got some good steel with that one. This was a very pricey one here too. This was um, over $200 if you bought it from Boker, um, <clears throat> Boker USA, the website for American buyers. But I usually go overseas. I go to a place called My Good Knife in Helsinki, Finland. And got this, I think, for 90 something dollars. And it's over $200 um, if you try and buy it in America. Same thing with the newest one. This one on the Boker website is $268. But I bought this in Helsinki um, from my good knife for 149. So, but uh, let's keep going. This here, you can see the badge is just a silver color. Where the newer ones, they started doing these in 2020. Where it's a black background on the chestnut tree. And you'll see. This is the silver background on the chestnut tree. So this is 2019 or earlier. It's just the basic Boker Barlow um, in Grenadil. Used a little bit. Carried a little bit. Next one up is what's called the Boker Expedition. This is a brushed or bead blasted brass bolster. Um, OD Green Micarta, which actually looks brown. And it's in 440C, Boker Solingen, Germany. Uh, just a gorgeous knife here. <clears throat> Is one of my, if you go back and look at the video on this, it's um, it's one of the most watched videos that I got right there. Um, probably my favorite is the Bog Oak. I hate to play favorites, though, because that new copper one is amazing. This here is Bog, Bog Oak. And it's a spear point, and it's in a acid wash, 440C, I believe. Boker Solingen. Uh, now this one might not be in 440C. It's got a pretty cool acid wash on it. Beautiful bog oak. Next up, the Castleberg, also one of my favorites. This is aged oak, take, taken from a castle in Germany. I forget the name of the castle. Beautiful piece of wood. Also has this the clip point with the acid wash. Boker Solingen, Germany, and the O1. 
I'm guessing that that's tool steel, 01 tool, tool steel, but I don't know that for sure. But a sweet knife nonetheless. Now we go up to the a little over 20 minutes. This is the newest one they got out. Um, the desert ironwood, but it's kind of like a um, stabilized wood like Buck does. Um, or it's hand polished, one of the two. But it has a really nice finish on it. It's not lacquered or anything. It's probably just hand buffed. But it could be stabilized where they um, heat press it with epoxy to make it stronger and more durable. That's what Buck does to their uh, scales. This beautiful copper. I can't wait till it turns green. I might have to leave it out in the elements. And since copper is such a soft metal, it scratches pretty easy. But I just take one of these um, fingernail buffers, and you can get a nice shine on it. If you use the um, 3000 grit side. And if your scratches are lengthwise, you want to buff crosswise. And try not to uh, buff on your scales, although you can, it won't hurt it. But look how nice and shiny that got. So I ran over a couple minutes. We'll kind of set these out here and take one more look at them. I'll let you guys go. I don't know why I got to shake so much today. I am cold. Hope I'm not still sick all right let's take a look at them oh i forgot the uh does this count as a barlow this is the barlow prime in a black canvas micarta and this is a user actually i kind of use it as a beater almost and you can see it used to have an acid wash blade but I cleaned it, cleaned it, and I kind of like the way it looks better than the acid wash. You can see it's been beat down on a little bit. But that's a really nice, fun knife to carry. They call it a Barlow. I would call it just a bear, bear head jack. But it's snappy. All right, let's take a look. See what we got. Till next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.